With Wolfgang's rework releasing early, its beta has allowed us to dive deep and learn a little bit more about our old yet new strongman here. And at the end of the day, he's still Wolfgang, only he needs time to reach his fullest potential, of course. But the question is, how much time exactly, and at what other costs? This early release had me returning to his mighty gym last night to perhaps find some nuance to it, and while there's not much in that regard, this thing is kind of a little tricksy one that will mess with you even when we're not messing with it. But hold up, Beard. The heck are you on about? And what does that even mean? Well, it means that missing the mark in the newest lifting minigame is meaningless. At least directly. Now I get it. We actually discovered that day one. But take a look at my hunger here and tell me what you see. Yup. That's right. It's draining everyone, even when I'm not actually lifting. In fact, it will still drain even when you're doing absolutely nothing at all, but looking like you have to go, if you know what I mean. And at weights of 7 to 8, this means an almost passive hunger drain of 28 times the normal rate. That's not good, folks. And heck, the thing doesn't even knock us out of it when we do start starving, if that actually does come to pass. So yes, while missing means nothing itself, you best be hitting that marks quickly and efficiently, as time is of the essence, as is your stomach. But here's a question, what do all the weights mean and actually do for us? Well, to start to understand that, we should probably know what everything actually weighs, yes? These new potato sacks that are unfortunately nothing more than an empty sack with an image of a potato on them come with every mighty gym that is crafted. And look to clock in at one weight each, the lowest of the bunch. Next comes the numerous miscellaneous heavy items in this game, like celestial altar pieces, suspicious marble chunks, ant lion's glass sculptures actually, and cave-in boulders, and even the knobbly nut trees of the waterlogged biome, all of which will count as objects of two weight each. All non-boss statues in the game, alongside every giant rotted crop specifically, counts as three weight, so make notes. And finally, every boss statue and non-rotted giant crop will take the cake at four weight each. The highest around, I believe. Oh, and no, the material used to craft statues does not matter when it comes to the weight of said statues, by the way. So okay then, what does all that actually mean when such objects are loaded onto a gym? Well, we will come to see that the minigame sweet spot will grow over time to make things easier for us, while also eventually leading to an even sweeter sweet spot for more mightiness per lift. For example, a basic gym with its base weight of 2 provided by the two potato sacks it came with offers a small sweet spot that only grants roughly 1.6 points of mightiness per lift, which ain't great. But what about swapping one of the sacks for something a little bit heavier to make the gym a weight of three instead? Will that actually help? Well, yes, but actually no. For you see, all you did was make it easier to hit the sweet spot and not anything to actually increase said sweet spot's effectiveness. The orange area will always grant a roughly 1.6 mightiness when hit, period. Heck, even a gem bell is better than these lower weight classes, and it doesn't even drain four times the hunger, so make note of that. Ah, but look at what happens when a combination of items to help reach a weight of four comes into play, folks. The orange area still remains sure and is even larger now. However, a new yellow sweet spot has opened up and is ready to grant roughly 3.33 minus per successful hit instead, which is pretty much double the original. 
but go a step beyond to a weight of five and said yellow area becomes even easier to nail as you can see. And finally, a weight of six sees the biggest yellow sweet spot that there can be. Now gyms weighted four through six start out matching the gem bell for sure. But not by too much, mind you. A gem bell is going to be but seconds behind, all the while not draining 12 times the normal hunger rates. So keep that in mind. But finally, let us talk a weight 7 and 8 gym. The last two levels there can be, as far as I can tell. As you can see, the orange area is now completely replaced by the yellow, which means these are super fast lifts for mightiness, unless you completely miss somehow, but a whole new white spot has also arrived. And this new area will grant roughly 6.6 .6 mightiness per hit, which is huge. And as you could have guessed, a weight slash level 8 gym only makes hitting said mark easier. It's very, very nice. If you don't mind losing a crap ton of hunger along the way, as all this is going to drain your hunger by 28 times the normal rate. So in conclusion, it's still kind of inconclusive, honestly. I mean, the Mighty Gym is pretty darn cheap, and getting a boss statue early as Wolfgang is an absolute joke. So a top tier gym is not going to be hard to achieve quickly. That said, why should we trade so much hunger for a workout session that really only beats a gem bell lift session by like less than a minute? Also, I heard people talking about having to build multiple gyms near like boss arenas for some quick availability, and that's going to be a factor too in all this. I don't know, folks. This all kind of just remains to be seen, if you know what I mean. But I guess, there you have it, everyone. A specific guide on Wolfgang's newest Mighty Gym and how everything related to it actually breaks down. Seeing as how the content is still in beta and discussions about, well... Everything about the beta are still ongoing. I imagine most of it, if not all of it, will see some sort of change down the line, so please bear that in mind. If not, though, get the lifting. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Go get swole, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.